Welcome to the Chaos Makes Sense podcast, brought to you by Smarter Chaos, where online performance marketing is all they do. Now, here's your host. It's a great day, I'm feeling Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Henry, and Matt Frary is away today. So I'm here with Candace Garrity from SheIsMedia.com and Lucy Bartlett, Senior Marketing Manager at Viglink. Today, we'll be talking about how bloggers can monetize their blog content and what options and resources are available to them. Now, before Candace and Lucy join us, just a reminder that if you have questions or require assistance with your online performance marketing, you can reach Matt and the team at SmarterChaos.com and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash SmarterChaos. Candace and Lucy, it's great to be talking with you both today. Hello, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Thank you for um, for pinch hitting for uh, Matt. Candace. it's great to have you, and I'm sure that you'll give us a great um, feminine point of view today. I'm happy to. I'm happy to. I know that that's something he doesn't generally bring to the table, so I'm happy to be able to bring that with me today. <laughs> that's true. That's true, and I'm sure he'll appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> and Lucy, how is your day today? Um, actually, it's very lovely. The sun is shining very brightly in San Francisco. It's almost a little too warm, which is a very nice temperature. So it's, yeah, it's going good. Oh, that's wonderful. San Francisco doesn't, you, you don't usually hear that too warm no. statement coming out no, of there. No, you don't. <laughs> this is a very <laughs> rare and lovely uh, occurrence. Very good. Well, Lucy, can you explain a little more for me about what is meant by monetizing your blog and why you would encourage all bloggers to explore that option? Yeah, I mean, monetizing your blog very simply means um, earning revenue through your blog. Um, And really, the reasoning for it and why bloggers should really consider it is that Bloggers are very influential on the web. I mean, there was a survey last year from Blogger that said 81% of women trust blogs to learn about the new products they should buy. So bloggers on the web are kind of creating content about products and items and sharing that knowledge and they're very trusted source of knowledge and they're driving other people to buy those products or they're driving other people to look at other websites and um, really they're kind of doing a, a kind of marketing service for other people so they should be getting paid for it and as all bloggers know you know blogs aren't easy you put your heart and soul into them and you spend a long time doing them and they cost you money to keep hosted and to you know work with people to do designs and things so really it's kind of only fair that you should probably earn some revenue from your hard work and um, you know there's a lot of possibilities to monetize your web content but it does mean that you're then kind of earning for the work you're doing. What a great um, way to spin that to, to actually treat the blog as an income generating resource. A lot of us I think look at that as more of a marketing tool that we have to pay for. So is this you are you finding that this is um when you're teaching this is it readily accepted? Yeah, I mean um it's very kind of uh, uh, you know, on the merchant side, the advertiser side, they really understand the value of bloggers. Like, you know, we're not in a state now where people just absent mindedly will watch an advert on TV or read a billboard and think, yes, of course they're telling me the absolute truth. Whereas people are much more nowadays engaged in kind of the peer-to-peer marketing. Like you do want to buy things and especially, you know, if you're being careful in money and stuff, you don't just believe any old advertiser. Rather, you're looking to the people that you trust and they tend to be the bloggers who you follow and your peers online and you're looking to them to help you, you know, understand if you're going to treat yourself to some shoes what really are the greatest shoes out there at the moment and what you know what is the best dress or you know if you're a foodie like what is the best crock pot to buy because you don't want to spend you know hard-earned cash on something that isn't really what you thought it would be. Whereas bloggers, you know, they're writing about their passion and their love. They're going to share things with you that they truly believe in and think really are the greatest, you know, new shoes out there or the greatest, you know, kitchen range and that sort of thing. Candace, what's been your experience along these lines? I'm glad you asked, Kimberly. I have to tell a funny story about my husband. He is a cyclist. He rides road and mountain bikes. And when I first took this job with She Is Media, I was trying to explain to him what what I was doing. And he said, oh, yeah, I don't know, Candace. I don't think people really look at blogs for things like that. And I said, well, no, they do. There's a whole industry around this. And he said, yeah, no, I don't really think that. But but go for it. Go for it. Have fun. 
So uh, probably two weeks later, he sh- he's showing me this pair of handlebars that he really needs to buy. And, and I emphasize, emphasize the word need. He, <laughs> he needed to buy these handlebars. And I said, oh, well, how, how did you find them? And he's showing me on the iPad. And he said, oh, some guy that I follow on Twitter. And I said, oh, show me where you found them. He clicks through. And funny enough, um, it was on this gentleman's blog. And it's this this gentleman that's uh, the fat cyclist, I think is mm-hmm. who he is. And sure enough, his blog is fully monetized. He knows exactly what he's doing. This handlebar is they they pay him to write posts for these specific handlebars that my husband now needs because he saw them on a blog. And my husband had no idea and he realized all of his bike buying purchases have come from blog posts that he has read. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. <laughs> the chickens come home to roost. On them. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. What a great example. Lucy, what are some other options? So, so what you were saying, Candace, is that this particular blogger is paid by the, the goods manufacturer, the, the advertiser to write about the product. So that would be one way to monetize. What are some other options out there, Lucy? Yeah. So, I mean, those type of where you're being paid to promote an, a product normally does happen for bigger bloggers. Um, but there's many routes that smaller bloggers can use, and then they can end up being in this bigger blogger status anyway. Um, the more traditional ones, I think the one that most people have heard about is um, there's Google AdSense. And Google AdSense will automatically generate display ads for you on your blog, and then you earn revenue. It's earned by clicks and impressions that happen on those ads. Um, if you feel a little more savvy, you can take a very traditional approach, which is selling banner ads, um, you know, using the white space on your blog and selling that space to people to advertise. And you can do that straight to businesses and brands. But, um, you know, especially in the mobile age and as people become, you know, less and less tolerant of well-designed websites, people tend to find those just distracting and kind of ugly and their effectiveness is really going down. Mm. Some people still go for the more traditional style of affiliate marketing programs where, um, you know, a merchant will pay you commissions based on the clicks that you send through. So it's that driving traffic. But in the traditional approach, it's quite difficult and quite, uh, you know, time consuming because you're having to sign up to each merchant's affiliate program and then um, you're making those commission links yourself. And if you don't think to go back to old posts, you'll miss potential revenue options there. Um Whereas there's a much more newer approach to this, and it's uh, often called native monetization, where you're doing it much more within the content, and you can use, there's a lot of services out there um, who are providing technology that automatically creates those links for you. So it automatically creates that link that then you earn commission off. So it's where it's just like a normal hyperlink, and you don't even need to think twice if you use automated te- technology services. Um, and that's kind of, You know, the way that I would suggest people monetizing their blog to make it as clean and easy for them as possible. Excellent tips. So it's really grown into a bigger industry than than it was, say, 10, 20 years ago when when most people kind of looked at it and then decided maybe it wasn't for them. Yeah, I mean, it's a very different industry now. Um, You know, there's some negative uh, ideas associated with affiliate marketing, which, you know, are just, it's just not the same as it was. You know, nowadays, like I was saying, merchants and advertisers themselves are seeing the value of it. And people really are, you know, they're just writing about things that they love and things they care about. And they're adding in the links anyway. And, you know, my company's kind of point of view is that if you're writing about these links and you're writing about things you're really passionate about, and you're sending traffic, you should get paid for it. And who doesn't, you know, if you're a passionate blogger, who doesn't want the possibility that that could be your full-time job and your full-time revenue? So um, it's completely moved on. And it's very, you know, as Candice was saying, her husband didn't even realize that, you know, a blog that he was following is doing this. Because, you know, most people are doing, most savvy bloggers are realizing, you know, some people do it for their latte budget a week. You know, they just want to earn an extra five dollars. And some people are doing it because they want to make their blog their business, and they don't want to give up like the pretty space around it. And they spent so long thinking about everything that they don't want some 
advert that they don't even control coming in and kind of messing it around. So yeah, it's really changing and native monetization is really kind of the leading approach to this in that field. Thank you so much, Lucy. Kimberly, for- I wanted to yeah. add too, because the advertisers have grown in their understanding of what this micro content can do for them as far as being an influencer, this has given our bloggers a lot more options to continue to write about what they're passionate about and get paid. So they, they where before it was only a few advertisers that really clung to this idea that that blogs are the the water cooler of our day, now there are so many more options for these bloggers to write about and get paid because the advertisers appreciate their voice and appreciate that that micro content that they're ad that they're influencing their followers with great point of view candace we are up against a break we're going to be right back and i'd love to hear more from candace garrity from sheismedia.com and lucy bartlett from big link More chaos makes sense after this. Impact Radius is revolutionizing the performance marketing industry with its solutions for advertisers and agencies. Founded by industry veterans in 2008, the company is fundamentally changing the performance marketing landscape. Go to impactradius.com today to learn more about their industry-leading solutions, including tag management, media management, affiliate tracking, mobile app tracking, and more. Affiliates make more money from your audience promoting Intelligence. Intelligence provides small businesses with the tools to engage, encourage, and measure customer satisfaction in real time with custom mobile surveys, rewarding participation with mobile coupons, while simultaneously building opt-in, SMS, and email marketing solutions. Take advantage as an affiliate by promoting the Intelligence free trial offer and earn up to twenty dollars per transaction. Join our affiliate program at Intelligence.co. Nothing, yes, nothing that a brand or advertiser says about their product is nearly as influential as what is shared online by women. She Is Media is a unique and one-of-a-kind community designed to embrace women bloggers and their ability to share their story and drive the moment of intent. Join the sisterhood of sharing at sheismedia.com and make money recommending products and services that matter to you. Join sheismedia.com. It's time now for more Chaos Makes Sense. And I'm back with Candace Garrity and Lucy Bartlett. So, Candace, we spoke and used a term just a few moments ago called native monetization. Can you tell us what that is and why it's a good option? I can, Kimberly. The native monetization is the opposite of what Lucy was talking about with some of those disruptive banner ads and click ads that might be on the sidebar. They might be flashing along the top. This is this is links to websites, links to videos that are connected to the affiliate links that a blogger would use to get paid on their content. So this is the the least disruptive route that a blogger can take. And this is inside their content. A lot of my bloggers write will write posts with just a, a, a link within their text in the blog post. And readers are familiar with these links and can click right on it to go to a purchasing option for the product, the services that a blogger is talking about in this post. And that's how native monetization is less disruptive And it's more natural, it's more organic, and it allows, as I said before, it allows our our bloggers to to maintain their voice and their influence without having to sell out to any of these other click-through options that would would be on banners or or side ads. It sounds like an intuitive way for a, a reader to move through the process. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Lucy, once you've started monetizing, how can you make it as effective as possible with all these different options? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways to kind of plan strategically. Um, And, um, you know, we always advise our bloggers, I'm sure Candice does, is to kind of 
think about it. So, you know, you're writing your content and you're linking, you know, using native monetization, linking very organically to other products. But, you know, you do, if you do want to earn a little revenue, just kind of think through it a little bit, you know. Your greatest asset is the fact that your blog is your blog and it's unique and it's your uh, authentic opinion and you want to stay very open. So you don't want to be writing about products you don't really believe in. But, you know, time your content. Think about if you're a mom blogger, for example, it's going to be great to write blog posts about which school clothes you think are the best ones for your kids in the lead up to going back to school time or the best Christmas presents do it in the lead up to Christmas and we always say to our bloggers think very carefully you know you don't want to be writing this blog post about the best Christmas present the week before Christmas because you're not giving people enough time to follow that link check it out get it delivered you also don't want to be writing about Christmas presents on the Halloween weekend because again your readers are not going to be engaged with it. So we say to people, you know, think about postage and packaging. Think about those type of things and then time your blogs within those. Think about when your audience is starting to realize that, you know, it's Valentine's Day and what is the best card or the best gifts? Probably around two weeks before. Um, Another way to make it really effective is to really bond with your audience. You know, that you have a loyal readership and you want to not only bond with your audience, but grow your audience. So try and get on things like social media, like Twitter and Facebook, and really have engaging conversations with people because they will ask you there and then for, you know, product recommendations or ideas, which can help you think about your content and then maybe even come across ideas for posts that you didn't think about previously. You know, it really the key is writing things that really mean a great deal to your audience, engaging with them, writing things that they want to read about, that they'll share with their friends, growing your audience. The bigger your audience, the more revenue you're likely to earn because the more traffic you're going to be driving to these sites. And then be very clever in your timing. Like think about the calendar. Think about which products are coming out when, which products are more relevant to different types of time of year. Um, You know, there's a lot of holidays, especially, you know, all through the year that are very linked to shopping. So that would kind of be my top level tips. So with all of this great inspiration and, and, you know, motivation to go out and implement uh, new strategies around monetizing your blog, are there sources you can point people to, to help develop their monetization strategies? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of um, things that I would point people to. And actually some of them are maybe ironically are in real life meetings. So Candice and I actually work on something that's called That's What She Said. And it's a, it's a, a blogging meeting for fashion and mom bloggers and lifestyle bloggers where we bring people together for kind of an evening of luxury and entertainment and networking and they network with each other and they share tips and tricks with each other there and then. And then, you know, this That's What She Said event that we co-produce every one of those so far we've had a panel of expert speakers speak on a topic and that topic could be monetization or it could be how to make you know your blog go viral so there's events like that that I strongly recommend people check out like I work with the San Francisco blog club and that's a very popular organization and I know there's meetups like that that happen in every town Um, and you know people doing it and doing it well are a really great source of information There's also kind of the online version of that. And um, my company has collaborated with a data company called NetPop, and we've done the Publisher Roundtable, which is an online platform for kind of sharing with your peers these tips and tricks. And, you know, it uses a process of mini kind of uh, online interviews that just take a few moments. But as soon as you've done that, you're, you know, able to engage and see how you compare to other people and see how your answers match up and see you know, see how the person in the tier above you in earning revenue, what they're doing differently, you know, may it be that actually you need to post stories on a Wednesday, or you need to put more time into your social media, you can see how you reflect against people. And, you know, your peers are just a really great source of information and connecting with them. And, you know, talking to people who've done it and done it well is just one of the most valuable strategies for learning how to monetize well. Great. Now we need to run. We've got another quick break. But when we come back, we we'll want to check back in with you, Candice, and uh, wrap things up with Lucy Bartlett here on Smarter Chaos. And now it's time for Chaos Makes Sense.
And I'm back with Candace and Lucy. And before we wrap up the show, we always like to ask what's going on and getting you excited. So Candace, what's getting you out of bed in the morning and excited to start the day? Well, I am a mom of two, and I know not all of my bloggers are are moms or stay-at-home moms, but I know a large portion of them are. And I love the idea that we are helping these ladies to monetize their blogs in a way that they can still stay home with their kids if they choose to, be engaged in their family, and do what they love. And that is right on their blogs with content that shows their voice and who they are and get paid to do it. Oh, great answer. Lucy, what about you? What's getting you excited these days and up and out of bed in the morning? I think I like to bring a bit of Yorkshire sparkliness to the blogging world. So on a daily basis, I get up and I love to think about, you know, sharing useful information via social media channels. um, And really, you know, the products that my company are making, they really are helpful and they're really helping people do what they love writing their blogs. And I love really, the thing I really love is doing the kind of event stuff that I've mentioned and really kind of helping everyone get together and helping everyone learn from each other. And I love learning from our bloggers as well. And I kind of love doing that all with a bit of sparkle. So yeah, that's what gets me up out of bed. Sparkle. I love it. Well, I want to give you some contact information. If you would like to get a hold of Matt and the folks at Smarter Chaos, you can find them online at smarterchaos.com. And you can find Matt at Twitter at Chief of Chaos. And uh, thank you, Candice, for filling in today. You can reach Candice on Facebook at facebook.com slash sheismedia. And on Twitter at sheismedia. And you can find Lucy at Viglink on Twitter and on Facebook at facebook.com slash Viglink. And the website is biglink.com. That's it for us today. Can you think of someone who might benefit from what we've covered here? They'll thank you for forwarding this episode on to them. Candace and Lucy, thanks so much for sharing your expertise today. Thank you, Kimberly. Thanks for having us. Thanks for listening. At Smarter Chaos Online Performance Marketing, we do it all. We create order from chaos, and we will drive your sales. Contact us today at smarterchaos.com. That's www.smarterchaos.com. That's a name.